I know this isn't, you know, the nicest video diary. Um, I'm not really gonna edit this one. I'm two weeks behind again, my diary schedule. And I've just been really busy with... Sorry if the wind chimes are loud also, I should say that. There's Woody Woody's with me. Hi, buddy. Awesome creature. Um... So, finals have been a lot for me, um, and it's really funny because I'm I'm a communications and rhetoric major, so I'm focusing a lot on writing, I do a lot of writing, but I have to do four essays that are at least like five to seven pages each. Um, turns out the progress I made on a project actually, I, I emailed my professor to ask about it, and it turns out I was going about it completely wrong, so I had to start from scratch, do that all over again, so I'm losing about three days worth of progress. That's my bad, that's on me. And my graduation's coming up, and so are my real life responsibilities. And I'm just having a really hard time coming to grips with that. As I mentioned last video diary, I had other videos planned, like I was gonna do a reading of The Help on Heart and an unboxing of some figures and talk about secondhand collecting like I, I wanted to do that and I have those things like in my drafts but it's just like there is way too much going on for me right now and it's really hard and this is probably not the most cheerful update that uh you know people have started noticing my channel for it's kind of weird like seeing the views and people like people that I don't know like finding this, like, my channel, and connecting with it, and that makes me happy that a lot of us are feeling the same way and dealing with the same shit, but it's also just really like, wow, <laughs> things really suck, um, and so these past two weeks I've been applying nonstop to jobs, I got a couple interviews, I- Two of them ended up being MLM schemes, which was so awesome. Um, and then there was one that I felt so good about that they, like the the interview lady, even said like I have really good vibes. I'm exactly what they're looking for. She's gonna get back to me at the end of the week. And now we're on. Um, it's been a week and a half since my interview, and she hasn't reached out to me. I even sent a message on LinkedIn, like. Hey, so I just wanted to touch base and just I needed, you know, start figuring things out since I'm getting ready to graduate. I just want to have my plan for the next couple of months set up. Just, you know, I'd like to know if I was a candidate that was selected to be interviewed again. If not, that's okay, whatever. And she just like ghosted me. And there's a, I'm hopefully gonna get a freelance position that I was asked to send more writing for, but that's not going to be, like, substantial pay. That's, like, part-time pay. And I'm just really stressing out about the future because I have so much going on in my life that is, like, really putting things into perspective for me. Um, and I kind of just, I just don't know what to do. I feel like I'm going to stand still because I'm just writing, writing, writing. I'm writing to see if I can get, like, a manuscript done for a writing fellowship, I'm writing to see if I can get different freelance jobs, I'm writing for an internship that I was supposed to be paid for uh, now three months ago, and I still haven't received any compensation. It's just non-stop, and it's like, as much as I love it, it's getting really hard with how competitive things are, and the fact that it's like, you need more experience, but we're not going to give you experience, and I feel like everyone on the planet has talked about this catch-22. But at this point, when you've sent out 70 job applications and you're ghosted for most of them, um, or you're rejected, and you see the candidate that they went with and the writing is really bad, that's what sucks. And it's really stressing me out because it's like, I don't know what else I have to do. Do I have to send a cover letter like, please, 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 please. I'm losing my mind, to be honest. Um, hopefully, I will have a good update soon. Uh, Wee! And he goes away from the camera. Awesome. Come here, buddy. Hey. Come here. He came to sniff me on the other side. You're so weird, buddy. Um. 
I guess the yay thing is after I graduate, I'm gonna be going to another theme park that's kind of like my special interest and not like in the, the Disney adult way because I, I, I go because I like the ride um, technology and uh, theming. So I'm, I'm even more annoying, I think, than <laughs> a Disney adult because I'm gonna just be freaking out over the Roger Rabbit stuff uh, in a park. Which is gonna be really fun and awesome for me, but I don't know. Um, I think it's now like oh, it's a week until I graduate. Technically, like the end of the semester is in a week, and then I get my degree officiated and sent in the mail. Uh, I'm gonna be like that. Oh, my Yowie stickers came in the mail. Oh, it was my bachelor's degree thing. I'll put the post there, I guess. Uh, in about weeks. It's just I have so much going on and it's- I'm just really stressing out because it's like, okay, after this, what now? What next? Because I'm not getting anything solid from anyone else. And I have my freelance and I have my commissions, but I know also a lot of people don't have the money to spend on things like that. So when I'm selling figures, I know people aren't going to have the money to buy figures even if they're secondhand and like a third of the price. And I know that people don't really have the money to spend on commissions or... I don't know. And, and with freelance stuff, it's really hard to get your foot in the door. Like, I'm still trying to get a website up for my company because I, I, I had I had no choice but to make a company. Like, that's crazy to me. And as much as I love what I do, I'm just... It's really hard to feel motivated to push on. And I know I have no choice but to continue to force my foot in the door, but the fact that I have to fight this hard is what's really making it difficult. You know, like, I don't know, every day I wish I chose a different major with the way things are going. And I'm lucky that it took me such a short span of time to finish my major, but like, I don't know, I would have a guaranteed job if I went to Mortuary Science like I initially planned. And instead I was like, okay, I'll do writing. Because I, uh, that's, you know, I, I like it and I'm good at it. And even though, like, I, I just, I'm, like, I have so many regrets and I hate having regrets like that. Because like, this is something, this is my, my biggest passion and I want to edit and write and, and just, I want to make things. I love making things. That's why I made this silly channel, because I like editing and videos and writing and, and feeling like there's something tangible I can leave behind, you know? But it's like, damn, I should have just done fucking hands-on work. And I talked about this with friends, like, this was months ago. Um, but it's kind of crazy that even a job like mine, like when you're writing and editing full-time and you have to crunch out search engine optimized slop uh, to adhere to guidelines and get clicks. You have to write an inhumane amount in a short span of time, which fine, whatever. Like if you're writing sweat, that's fine. But you know, when you're writing per article, you're getting paid per article and you have to write like hundreds of thousands of words a day, that begins taking a toll on you, especially when you see that it's like manual labor is making more than you make with your degree and your years of, you know, expertise. And that's not to knock on manual labor at all. I was a wage slave for, god, four years. And it sucked, and it was really hard work, and only my last job was fairly compensated, but even then the boss and- but it, 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 it's, you, you're, you're getting paid a lot when you're doing manual labor because it's hard work. It is genuinely hard work and it takes a toll on you. But at the same time, like, you're told, go to college, go to college, go to college. Like, go to college so you can make more money. But then you're seeing the job that you did as a wage slave is getting paid more than you would with your degree specializing in something. So it's like, why did I go to school in the first place? Why did I, why did I get this stupid piece of paper that said, like, oh, you sat in the classroom for, like, two or four years? It's just pissing me off. And I just, it's... I have all these regrets piling up because so many things are happening in my personal life that just make me feel like, damn, I'm wasting my time and I'm not doing enough with myself and, like, none of this is gonna matter. 
and that's such a negative way of looking at things, but it's the only way that I'm processing how things are, you know, every day I see the news, every day I get another no in the mail, or I get ghosted yet again, and it's just like, it's just really hard. Um, I'm gonna hopefully put other videos out and make a nice video diary soon, but it's just really stressful. It's like, why, why did I do so much in in my time at university, you know, for it to amount to nothing. I'm just stressing out really bad. And I, 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 I know I'm reiterating myself a lot. I've been talking for almost 11 minutes. That's crazy. Um, I was supposed to go make coffee and just chill out, but I just, I can't. Like, I've been having a really hard time getting to sleep on time. I've been having a hard time getting up. Oh, Woody Cam? Oh, Woody. Look. It's Woody! That's, that, that little creature is the only thing that's like, wow, my day-to-day -day is, like, not that terrible. But I've, like, I've ended up picking my skin a lot and pulling my hair again, and this is so grossly personal and stupid. But it, it I just hate how, I, I just, I feel, like, chronically stressed, and this hasn't happened in a long time. It's been, like, two years since I've been feeling this chronic, crushing stress that just keeps me up, and I just feel exhausted all the time because I'm worrying about so many things at once. I'm worrying about finances. I'm worrying about not having a career or stability in my life. I'm just I'm just worried about so many things at once and I just I'm, I'm I, I, I think that's why I'm so regretful because it's I just wish that there was a clear answer to things and I wish that things were more concrete and I wish that my future wasn't so uncertain. You know, because I know what I want and I know that there are things that I am going to get to in my life no matter what, but it's really hard envisioning the path to get there with just the way things are, the economy, and the job market, and just companies. Like, it's, it's, it's just so much, man. Well, that, that was so awesome, guys. That was a really fun, awesome talk to myself in the backyard. Woody, don't eat mulch, buddy. Hey! He's eating mulch. That's a great way to end this, I think. Oh my god, he's actually eating mulch. Woody! Come on! What is it? What is your problem? Come here. Come here. There he is. Alright. That's way more than enough for me, so... Um... If you sat through this i am so sorry um i i hope there's some hope for whoever is watching this you know because i feel like our generation is collectively screwed <laughs> but i just hope things get better you know for all of us because this really fucking sucks i got um wow i'm not done talking that's so crazy i'm so annoying but i got an email saying that for my um, savings account company thing, saying that things were gonna get better for the economy, you know, like people were gonna start getting paid more and that inflation's not gonna be so bad. But then I saw something on Tumblr that was so real, so true that was like, oh, this is actually not inflation. This is just like companies, it's uh, cost gouging. So we're not being paid enough and companies are charging more. So just like this constant spiral of like, oh my god, we're gonna make it, and then never mind, it's so over. We're so back, it's so over. Um, I just hope to, you know, plateau in the we're so back, you know, we just stay there, because it, it's been over for a while. It's feeling like it's been over for a long time now. But I don't know, maybe, maybe things will get better when I get my stupid little piece of paper and then I'll be like, congrats, you did it, you sat through classes. Congrats, get out. Um, I hope the next video diary I have a job update or an application update, but at this point I'm doubting I'm gonna hear anything back from the currently four pages worth of applications I've sent out in the past couple weeks, so. Yippee! Uh, yeah, like I said, I wanna put other videos up. I have like a bunch of drafts that I should finish, but I don't know. I'm like doing so many things at once during my finals just to like 
not be thinking about my finals all the time. So, um, thank you again if you watched this far because now, oh my god, 15 minutes of this, awesome. So this is like a really, um, like unscripted, obviously nonchalant kind of. This is not like even coming from an actual journal entry, like most of my stuff is. Like I journal, and so a lot of my video voiceover bits are actual things I've written in my journal, but this th this is just me pissed off, like, rambling. So I know this is probably not the best video, or what people expect from me. Oops, the exposure just got really weird. That's crazy. Um, so I'm sorry that this was probably not what you're expecting, but I just really need to yap, to be honest. Um, I'll still mark this as a video diary, probably, but I, I just wanted to get my head cleared up because I, I've been so pent up. I like I don't really talk a lot in my house. Um, and so I, all these feelings just end up becoming pent up and then I just start having these thought spirals. So I really hope that things get better, you know, for all of us. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you soon.